right, thank you for saying with Daybreak. You're just in time for a conversation that is rather interesting away from the politics and all the drought and all the drama we always have today. We're talking about something different. It's the past series. How do you bring out yourself in a world where there's a lot of judgment? But it's not for me to tell you what's going on. Let me introduce my guests. They'll tell you all about that past series in just a bit, but we'd like to hear from you as well on every single thing that we're going to talk about. At Trevor and Bidia at Citizen TV, can you use the hashtag Daybreak? Let me introduce my guests real quick. Davina Leonard is here. She's a script writer for the past series. Thank you so much for making time. And Stephanie Mushiri, she's the lead actress from the past series as well. Thank you so much for making time. Thank you. Before we even get into it, Davina, let's start with what is the past series about and how did you come up with this script? Uh, wow. I was um, asked to write it, so I didn't come up with it, unfortunately. I was given the guidelines to write a six-part series that empowers and educates and uh, doesn't sort of lecture uh, the adolescents of yeah. Kenya. Empowers and educates and doesn't lecture. Yes. So how, where do you draw the line? Because you know when you're growing up, parents would always tell you, do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's, I think it's, um, it, it's just a way of, it's psychology, I think. Uh, you're always told to do something and you never want to do it. So it's, it's actually just showing you the options and showing you the repercussions of certain things, right? Okay. So it's path A, B, or C, which one do you want to take? You know, it's, it's, it's showing the result of your actions, and that's what PAR is about. PAR is about just showing, showing you how your choices affect your life later on. Okay, give us a bit of a background. Where, where are you from? What, who is Davina? Oh, God. <laughs> it's like an interview now. I mean... Tell us about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Davina is, uh, is a, a little bit of a mess every morning, but she gets there with a cup of coffee. Um, born and raised in Kenya, and I'm... By mornings, I spend my time on a breakfast show on Capital FM. Shout out. Mm. You know I had to. You know I had to. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm a writer, producer, uh, I was an actor, and then I suddenly realized coming home after drama school that a uh, white random chick would find it um, a little bit difficult finding roles for herself. So I, I picked up my pen and wrote those roles. All right. Yeah. Brilliant. Let me bring you Stephanie on this. Stephanie, you're a lead actress, but start with describing yourself. Who is Stephanie? Um, Stephanie is a girl in her early 20s. She is an actress, she's a commercial model, and she's still a student in Daystar University. Um, and yeah, I'm a lover of life. I'm very ambitious and hardworking and very curious. And yeah, I love trying new things. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Early 20s, more like early 14s, 15s, but yeah, let's, let's go with the early 20s. What, what part of the role do you play in Power series that you like? Um, I play the role of Lydia. Yeah. And yeah. Mm. And who is Lydia? Describe Lydia for us. Lydia, okay. Lydia is, um, she typically represents an, a normal teenager just getting into life, um, changing from one world to another because of the culture shock she goes through. Um, she is someone who's also trying to figure out herself and know who she is, um, what, what she likes, what she doesn't like. And throughout the series, you see how the challenges. Each episode has a challenge that she has to go through, she has to face. And yeah, what makes her to be who she is at the end of the series. Yeah. So yeah. Let me bring in Davina back on this. Davina, as you're writing this, did you see yourself at any given point of this series? Being a young girl, uh, Mzungu, like you mentioned, growing up in Kenya, the difference in peer pressure, all that. Did you, know, you the see thing yourself is, there? Um, I think adolescence is, is, is difficult for anyone, yeah. you know, um, talking biologically for a start. But uh, absolutely, the things that uh, adolescents face, especially now, I mean, it was, it was a time... It's been, it's been a couple of years since I was a, a, a teenager, but yeah, of course, you know, as writers, you write yourself in everything you write. Yeah. And it takes decades, I think, to really understand other people. But there's always something of you in every character that yeah. you write. And of course, I mean, you know, I, I, went to, I went to Hillcrest, I partied too much in Carnivore. I mean, it's, it, it, the clothes change, the music changes, but the struggles remain the same. And um, adolescence, I think, transcends, it transcends geography, it transcends race. Adolescence is difficult for anyone. Yeah. Um, and I, there's definitely parts of me and parts yeah. of my friends in PA. Let's talk about those struggles that you mentioned, because I believe we're in different generations. I think we are 
uh, my worlds apart and probably older than all of you here. But what were the issues? I doubt. <laughs> 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 <You're scared. laughs> what were the issues you're dealing with then uh, compared to today? Are they still the same or are they different? Because considering now, the moment Stephanie walked in here, the first thing I saw her do was take a picture. Yeah. We never used to grow up with that. We didn't grow up with that. Oh, dude, I, I, I had no See, credit. That's I was, the reason why we're different generations. I was grew up with my phones. dad's phone. I was, like, I, I was like, my dad would always take his phone and be like, oh, I thought I had credit. And I was like, yep, yeah. I jacked it all. Yeah. So yeah, of course, I think that's the thing. But th that's not to say I don't struggle with those issues now. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the, online, the online persona, having to be present, having to push an agenda. I think that that is something that I didn't go through. But essentially, PA also deals with bullying. It deals with uh, smoking or the yeah. pressure to smoke, the pressure to drink, the pressure to party. And it deals with having to um, put a different, a different persona forward and, and, and struggling to figure out who you actually are. Yeah. And I think that that's not, um, that's not an adolescent thing. You know, I mean, really, do, we, do any of us really know who we actually are? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a struggle. I think it's, it's about being human as opposed to being a teenager. And that's why PA will be relatable to anyone of any age, I would say. So what are we preaching out there? Is it about knowing yourself or creating yourself every single time? I think, first of all, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, and the watchers of PA will hopefully let us know, I hope we're not preaching, that's the point. But I think, I think you create yourself, but also y y you are you. Yeah. It is what it is, as we say, but I think that changes every single day. I think you make decisions yeah. to mold yourself. Every choice will have repercussions and it will take you down a different route. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, you're born with a certain set of tools, and yeah. it's how you use those tools. Okay. Stephanie, how are you dealing with being a star, a young girl who's a star already, and people recognize <laughs> you, and sometimes you're thinking, I just want to be left alone? Um, it's, it gets a bit overwhelming at, at times, because... Yeah. Um, but it's 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 nice as well because that's that I love it when someone comes and they're like, I love your work, I love what you do. It, it makes me feel like I actually did something good into the and also like the dms i get oh you inspire me to chase my dreams or i never thought it would be possible or like I just a lot of um positive feedback has been coming through so far so i'm really really grateful for that i yeah. really don't take it for granted so yeah what do you think is the biggest challenge that girls face today um peer pressure a lot of peer pressure because um especially as an adolescent, you, you're trying to find out who you are, you're trying to fit in, you're trying to get your crowd and your people so that when you, because the, um, there's this narrative for if you grow up, you have to have your own circle of friends who can support you, your own girls. So there's that, there's that, um, there's that pressure to always, to, find, to, to know who you are at, at, at an at a early age, sorry, so yeah. 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 But the support system we're talking about, mm -hmm. which one works? Because you see, I, I wanna they say, if you want to hear it, ask the horse, get it straight from the horse's mouth. Which one works? When the parental support or your peers supporting you? Which support system would you rather have? For me, huh, it depends. It, it's case by case because you really don't know where you, every, every child has a different um, background. So whatever works for you, if, you, if you're closest to your parents, that would be the ideal. But if you're not close to your parents, but you have a close circle of friends who've been there for you, then I think that would work best as well. Do you feel like the online pressure is a bit too much? Because then, you see, you talked about peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it just used to happen in school, at least mm -hmm. the few hours that you're in school. Now it follows you at home. You're at home and you see what's going on and you're like, oh my God, I'm nowhere near to what these people are doing. I'm not as cool as they are. Yeah. So is, is it a bit too much, the online pressure? It is. It is, especially when you're trying to figure yourself out. Yeah. You, who, there's, there's a lot of information on social media. There's a lot of um, standard sets that society puts out on there. So it's, it's, it's a lot. It can be a lot if you don't know yourself or if you don't um, know what you like, what you don't like, who you are, what you stand for. So um, it can be a lot if you don't really know yourself or if you're trying to figure yourself out. And that's why I feel like some, to some extent, um, teenagers shouldn't be that exposed to social media because it really might affect them, especially mental health, their mental health. Yeah. So, yeah. 
What yeah. do you think, Davina? Well, the thing is, that's what is so fantastic about Sky Girls, okay? And I don't want to push an agenda, but I feel very, very... Um, I feel very strongly about Sky Girls, the movement. Sky Girls is an actual movement that commissioned Pa the series, right? So Sky Girls is the umbrella movement, and it's all about having this, this set of resources for uh, young girls, essentially, um, under 18 year olds, mainly in Kenya. And there's uh, magazines, there's an online community, there's uh, estate and t uh, school tours, things like that. And it is a set of resources that I never had, never, ever had. Like all the places that you go to, yeah. to learn about things, I never had that. So Sky Girls is a way for girls to, com to uh, commit to a Sky Pledge. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it, it's, it, it sounds intense, but it's it's a way of just being positive, being strong, and and knowing yourself and what is your thing and what is not your thing. Yeah. And it's a it's almost a sisterhood. They've got magazines. They've got all of these things, and that's it's a resource for for girls and for parents, in fact, because actually, being a parent, although I'm not one, I couldn't think of anything more scary because you you're essentially molding a human being. Yeah. Like. <laughs> the struggle is real. So with Sky Girls, it's a place to go uh, online, in person, or in, in magazines. And, and now PAR is, is another place to go where you can be watching things and be like, huh, how is this, how is this me? What, what about this is me? Yeah. And, and how can this help me going forward? So at the end of this series, what do you hope to achieve? I, I hope to achieve a commission for season two. <laughs> That's a very really direct answer. <laughs> you know what I mean? The hustle. <laughs> In no. terms of the impact it creates. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, the thing is, is that um, through the lives of these three main characters, yeah. uh, Stephanie plays Lydia, and the, the other two girls, they all, they all show a certain side of, I, th I, I believe, every young or old woman. Um, me, I, I'm, a, I'm a sky granny, definitely a sky girl. <laughs> but uh, I, I hope to achieve that the watchers, the audience, whether they are girls or boys, can see themselves reflected in at least one, if not two of the characters, yeah. and in one, if not two of those situations. <laughs> so that they don't feel so alone. I know, I know you're in TV, so I know you watched uh, TV growing up and it molded a part of you and your personality and that's what I hope to have something positive and to have something um, Brilliant like like part is. Oh, I'm, I'm on TV. I didn't realize that <laughs> let's wow. see. So Steph, <laughs> Steph, Have you ever been bullied before? Yes, I have what in happened? high school um, I came from a public school in primary to a, a private school in high school and that transition was such a culture shock for me just like Lydia and when I got there, of course, I, I didn't even think about bullying or it's going to be a different crowd. They wouldn't accept me, quote unquote. Um, but when I got there, I was in shock because um, whenever I wanted to try something, they'd either try um, pull me down or talk badly about me or just remove me from that opportunity for whatever reason it is. So um, I really, high school was one of the toughest moments that really, really molded me. Cause it got to a point I was like, you know what? It's me against, it's me against me. There's, there's literally, I'm my own competition. Whatever anyone else says, whatever outside noise that's there, I really don't care. Like you can talk, you can have your opinion, but I know who I am. I know what I stand for. And if I'm not happy with something, I will not go for it. So yeah. Would yeah. you rather someone speaks out when they're being bullied and who do they talk to? Yeah, it's very important to speak out. What, I don't know, there's, there's no um, specific person to go to. Just speak, whoever listens, listens. There's only someone who can be able to do something for you, be it your parents, be it a teacher, be it your fellow students. Like it's, it's, it's not really written on stone that you have to talk to your mom about it or your dad about it. It's whoever listens to you. Yeah. So just put, put it out there that you're being bullied, that you're going through something. So you can have um, the opportunity to, to be helped so that you don't, I don't know, it's, it's better than keeping quiet and dying with it from inside because it really kills you. It really kills you from the inside. Yeah. So, yeah. Sky Granny, what do you think in terms of bullying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, the complete opposite. You are a, a ridiculously progressive, mature, brilliant woman because I was bullied in yeah. high school and never I... never spoke about those things. I essentially just kind of cried, ate, and wore boys' clothes. What? Yeah, there was nothing like that. There was... I... I 
I, it was all my fault. It was all me. I was the issue, Ooh. and I was ready to just, you know, die with it. Essentially, um, yeah. I know I, I. We actually, luckily, had a counselor introduced into our high school, and I think that that's so important. And I know that that's happening a lot these days. But yeah, I mean, we know this story. Mental health is a completely missed opportunity in this country, that's and true. especially in the education sector. But um, God, kids can be mean, yeah. and it doesn't change, huh? Yeah. It's just adults get very, they get cleverer about the bullying, yeah. Yeah. right? So I think that is, that is the way with, with Sky Girls, it's, it's, it's really all about knowing what's your thing and what is not your thing. And you know what? If me not being able to deal with meanness or yeah. being, being able to sit in a crowd that is in like pushing a certain agenda, then that's not my thing. And it's, it's that yeah. it's not, it's knowing your limits and accepting them and yeah. actually being okay with who you are. And I really like what you say in terms of the bullying doesn't really stop. But having grown up now, you just see people doing it in a different way. Oh so yeah. is that what Parsil is also looking to achieve to grow thick skin from the people telling them that the world is going to be cruel, but how you respond to what is given to you is what matters. That is where the difference really is. You know, I struggle with this all the time. I wish, I really, really hope that the world isn't going to be cruel. I'm 35 and I'm still hoping this. And I, and I see it all the time. I see cruelness. We see, we see guys begging on the street. The world is extremely cruel. It's extremely cruel. But I think it's about finding the good in the cruelness. However that may be, however small that may be. Yeah. That's that's all I can hope for. Yeah. Mm. And, um, and 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 for me and for young girls, I think I think Pyre is that. I think Sky Girls is that. I think um, hanging out with with nice people is that. I think a cup of coffee is that. I mean, it's just <laughs> about finding the, the good. <laughs> okay, Stephanie, how do you deal with the online pressure? Not not really the people DMing you, even the people who expect you to live a certain lifestyle. Sometimes you just want to wear your pajamas and not have any makeup or anything, just walk around. But when you think about your role, mm -hmm. you're thinking, okay, now nah, first I have to look good before I step out. How are you dealing with the online pressure and expectation? Sometimes we call them the online in-laws. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, I don't know. Playing Lydia really taught me a lot. As, let me just begin with that. Um, for example, um, for her, she's real. I'm not trying to portray a certain lifestyle on my social media. I'm not trying to show people a an, an realistic way of living or how unrealistic my life is. Because I'm a normal person. I've, I've been normal. I've gone through these things. I, I, can't, I don't want to um, preach a different narrative on my social media. So when the online relatives, quote unquote, um, come up, um, I really don't give them mind. Like you might comment, I delete the comment, or like I don't let it get to me at all, whatsoever, or the pressure to post something or I, I, I don't give it time at all, at all. Yeah? Yeah. So you don't respond, though you see it, because by, the time, by the time you're going to delete it, you must have read it and you're thinking, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it happens, it happens. Especially, uh, there's some people who just comment for the sake of commenting, or they just talk badly for the sake of just trying to bring you down. And I, re I, I don't let it get to me, because high school, again, taught me so much. All the bullies, I knew it wasn't about me. I knew it wasn't um, that I'm being mean or I, I did something to offend them. I didn't. I was just minding my own business. Yeah. Same thing when it comes to social media. And I thank God I went through whatever I went through in high school because it really, really shaped who I am today. Um, dealing with um, negative people, dealing with different personalities, de dealing with different people who come along in every stage of my life. And... I don't know, it's, it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Like, I just don't give them mind. <laughs> okay. Davina, looking back now, in your 35 years, what would you tell a younger you? Oh, Lord. <laughs> to take a lot of coffee? I, no, <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 to have a lot of hugs. I don't know, you know, it's, it, that's such a hard question. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> um, what would I tell a younger me? You know what, it's, it's honestly, I feel like that younger me anyway. I'm still there. I'm still there. I've just learned ways to deal with it and ways to manage it. Yeah. And I think that that's the same with everyone, you know? Um, I think we are, we are essentially that, that, that scared person. Yeah. Or, you know, unhealed trauma is definitely a thing. I think we just, we have to learn to find positive things to guide us. Mm. And that's why, I mean, really that's why 
pa was like, I mean, imagine being asked, and I, I, I must thank Tandem, who commissioned this series. They just said, write something positive and, and that will, will help. You know, how amazing is that? Not something sensationalist, something crazy, something just to get people talking. No, yeah. write something that will help. Yeah. And I think that that's what PAR does. I hope that that's what PAR does. It is. You know, um, Steph plays Lydia, who is the main character, and she comes, she, she wins a scholarship to a prestigious Nairobi school. Yeah. And I'm seeing that so much, um, especially as we talk about exams and things like that these days. These girls are, she goes to this school, and it is, it is that Nairobi, it is that mind the gap mentality of we, we live in the capital and we, we forget anything else that happens within our borders, you yeah. know? And I think that that's something that, that PAR deals with well, uh, you know, past the gender thing, past the age thing. There is this, this kind of elitism that comes with being in the capital and especially in one of these private schools yeah. where we set PAR at uh, a St. Joseph's type. I'm not going to even name it. <laughs> yeah. You'll... When you watch the series every, yeah. every Sunday, you'll know. In fact, we'll get into that. We, we keep talking about it, but we haven't talked about when it actually airs. Mm. If somebody wants to catch the series, where, where do they go? 6 p.m. Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> it's 6 that p.m. Sundays, only on Citizen, Citizen TV. Brilliant. Steph, I won't ask you, <laughs> what did you tell 